Hello, I'm James Knight, founder of Gentle Somatic Yoga. This somatic movement flow that I'm gonna guide you through is to help release and unwind from the tension of the outer thigh, otherwise known as the abductors. So the TFL muscle, um, the IT band, the piriformis, the glutes, and also the pelvis. So for this movement, if you can, please find a space to lie down on your right side. Actually, I'm gonna use this as a pillow. So if you have something nearby to use, like a blanket or a towel, feel free. So you want your knees bent at right angles to your hips and your ankles right angles to your knees. Okay, so the start position is to extend your top leg and soften your knees. So I'm gonna call this the starting position. Okay, so there's, very, there's no muscular effort here. And the first piece of instruction is to lift the left leg with the foot parallel to the floor. And from here, just notice from the inside out which muscles you're engaging in the thigh. And, uh, slowly bring the foot forward and then lower it to the floor mindfully. When your foot touches the floor, bend the knee and release all muscular efforts. I would call this the finishing position. Okay, return back to the start position. And we're gonna change it up. So this time, extend the leg, pause, point, rotate the leg uh, inward, toes pointed down, and then slowly come forward. Notice where you feel muscular engagement up into the um, glutes, and then slowly lower the foot to the floor, and then release all muscular efforts. Let's continue. Let's go back to the start position. Notice how my upper body is um, perpendicular to the floor. Okay, so now this time extend and engage and externally rotate that foot so the toes are pointing up. Notice if you feel it in a different, um, different muscle groups in the left leg. And then extend the leg forward, slow and smooth. And in a certain point, you choose where you're gonna lower it. Always paying attention to the internal felt sensation and then unlock the knee. That's the finishing position. I always like to pause for a short moment to make sure that you released all muscular effort. Return back to the start position and we'll do one more. This is actually gonna help release the psoas muscle, which is in the front here. So lift the leg, pause, roll the top shoulder and the hip forward, bring the leg back, and then slowly lower down until the heel touches the floor and then unlock that knee. Come back to center and let's do a post check by bringing the legs down. And I'm just curious to notice if you feel a difference between your left hip and your right hip and also your legs. Gentle somatic yoga, we, it, when we can, we always like to check in before and after so that the brain can witness contrast. And sure enough, this hip feels much lower and this leg feels uh, longer and closer to the floor. So I'm curious to know if you feel a difference. Okay, and then let's move on. Um, we're gonna change sides. lie on the left side and again bring your uh, knees perpendicular to your hips and your ankles perpendicular to your knees and this arm this leg is your foundation so make yourself comfortable then extend your right leg and the beginning position is this knee is soft Extend the leg, keep the foot parallel, and then bring the leg forward, slow and smooth, 
and then you choose where you lower that foot to the floor and then unlock that knee and rest. Return back to the start position. This time lift the leg, oh sorry, keep the knee soft. You always like to start in a neutral position. Then extend the leg, internally rotate the right leg, toes pointed down, and then bring the leg forward slow and smooth. Where do you feel muscular engagement with the right leg? Slowly come down and release all muscular efforts. Come back to the start position. Extend the right leg, pause. Externally rotate the right leg, toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Notice where you feel it, muscle contraction. Slowly and smoothly come over. You can bring your hand to your leg and that helps to feel sometimes. Slowly lower it down and release. Good. And then one more repetition. Start soft and neutral. Engage the right leg. Roll the shoulder and the hip forward. And the head comes forward. Extend the leg back. Slowly lower that leg. And now we're gonna lengthen the psoas muscle and release. Good. And then let's come back to the floor and just notice if there's been any changes left and right. Adjust your clothes so you're comfortable. And notice what you notice in your hips, pelvis, and both legs. So I don't know about you, but I definitely feel more even in the hips and both the legs um, feel nicely alive and close to the floor. That means that you've just reset and lengthened the muscles in, that, I, that I shared with you earlier, the piriformis, the glutes, the TFL, the IT. This is a great way to free up the legs. And then when you're ready, then please find a way to roll over back to seated slow and smooth for those of you that are watching that you enjoy walking or running or hiking this is an excellent flow to try so thanks for following along and remember to awaken the possible